CW presents Sesame Street, show 2013, produced in color at Reeves Teletape. Something's happening around here. Oh, sure is a quiet day. Oh, hi! Mika and I are trying to find something nice to do, but just nobody's around today. Nothing's happening on Sesame Street. Why don't we try, uh, try Mr. Looper's store? David's there. Maybe something will happen. Hello there, Mika! Hi there, David. Hi there, Big Bird. Anything new and exciting happening around here, David? Oh, no, nothing much. I'm just cleaning up some coffee I spilled on the counter. Oh, look at that. I'm on my, down to my last piece of paper. Mm. It's an empty roll. Mm. I'd better go get some more. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Sure. Well, not much happening around here. Hmm. You know what my granny bird always says, though? She says... Things never get dull if you use your imagination. And you know what, Mika? I have an idea how we could use our imaginations. In fact, a great idea. Look at this great toy. This, this empty roll from the paper towels. Hmm. We could use it to pretend things. You got any ideas? Uh-huh. What? We can use it as a telescope. A telescope? Oh, you could. Here, here's the telescope. And, and, and we'll pretend that we're out in the middle of the sea on a ship with no land in sight. Oh, what a great idea. Let's imagine, Mika. It's, it's hundreds of years ago, and we're out on a big ship trying to discover America, but there's no land in sight. Scupper me uppers, Captain Mika. It's rough seas and bad weather, and we haven't seen land for days. What are we going to do? I'll look through my telescope. Look through your telescope? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Do you see anything? Is there land in sight? Are we going to discover America? Boy, these seas are getting a little rough for this bird's tummy. Land ho! Land ho? You mean we finally discovered America? What do you see, Captain Mika? Sesame Street. Oh, boy. Let me see. <clears throat> wow. We did it. We discovered Sesame Street thanks to our trusty telescope. There it is. The Sesame Street sign. Boy, that was fun, wasn't it, Mika? out there on the high seas discovering America, and all thanks to this great paper towel roll and our imaginations, right? Right. <laughs> Any sign of land yet, Captain? Our mighty. Still no sign. We should have reached land six weeks ago. We can't last much longer. Oh, don't worry, Captain. I've planned for everything. See, I have plenty of bottles of drinking water stowed away. Ah, but we'll be running out of food. Not as long as there's fish in the sea. I brought along some fishing poles, so we'll always have plenty of fish to eat. Ah, good idea, mate. I wouldn't have thought of that. That's not all, Captain. I use our empty water bottles for notes that say we need help. 
And if someone finds one of the bottles, they'll read the note and come looking for us. Ah, oh, that's a good plan, mate. But what if the ship sinks? I have a lifeboat standing by, ready to launch. Ah, oh, mate, you've done a wonderful job. Looks like you planned for everything. Just the same, it'll be great to drop anchor again, eh? Yes, sir. By the way, where is the anchor? It, didn't you bring it in when we cast off? I thought you did. No, I didn't cast off. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Cookie Monster. What letter is that that goes up, down, up, down? That the letter M, Harry. Hmm. And the letter M reminds me of a lot of wonderful things to eat. Hmm. Let's think of some. Okay. Mm. Marshmallows. Meatballs. Mm. Ready to munch. Mm. Malted milk. Mm. Mustard. Monster want lunch. Mm. Macaroni and melon. Magnificent meal. Oh, yeah. Mm. If Monster had food, now how yummy his tummy would feel. Oh, getting hungry. Uh -huh. mm. Monster want marshmallows, meatballs, milk, melon. But we got none of them. So, mm. Monsters who are so hungry will just eat this big letter M. 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 M.
tie my shoe. shoe. Hear me add up two and two. Four. Things that I can do all by myself. Myself. I can take my bath alone. Mm -hmm. Draw a picture of my own. Yes, sir. I used to need help from my mom and my father. Now that I'm big, well, I don't have to bother. I can button up my shirt. Sure. Use a spoon to eat dessert. Yummy. Even reach my books way high on the shelf. <laughs> my hair, hair and pick out the clothes I'll wear. Where? Even reach my toys way high on the shelf. <laughs> A fly. A drum playing rabbit. Oh. Boy, you know, Mika, that was sure fun before, the way we used this old paper towel roll to pretend it was a telescope and we were sailors out on the high seas. I don't know what I, else I can do with it, though. Can you think of anything? Uh-huh. You can? What? Let me show you. Okay. Oh, that's good. Hey, you're, you're pretending it's a musical instrument, a trumpet. Do it again. Hey, that's what we can pretend. We can pretend that that's a trumpet and you're a really famous trumpet tutor getting ready to play a big concert. Oh, let's imagine that. Let's see. We'll imagine that you're a famous trumpet player and I'm your conductor. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the world famous trumpet tutor, the incredible Mika. Cheering! What a great trumpet player! <laughs> wow! What a great trumpet player! <laughs>
Today I have a very special surprise for you. Suzanne Farrell is going to turn around and around and around and around and I, the Count Von Count, am going to count the turns. Ha, ha, ha. Music, please, maestro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten beautiful turns! Get 
to be when she said I could see her tonight. Tonight, tonight. But she lives to the left, and that arrow there points to the right. Sierra when the sun was pointing right. Oh, why must they keep us apart? Our love's doomed before it can start. And I feel like that sign with the arrow is piercing my heart. One way, one way, the sign said one way. But wait, what's that sound? Hey, could I be about to receive a visit from my guiding angel? Hi, I'm your guiding angel. How about that? And I see you're carrying a road map. Yeah, what seems to be the problem? Well, I can't get to my baby's house here because this street is one way, the other way. Ooh, well, have you considered going around? This way? Hey, what a great idea. Gee, thanks a lot. It was nothing. Really? I rode round the block to a doorway with wings on my wheels. Wheel, wheel. I'd waited so long for a kiss. Now I know how it feels. She kissed him and he knows just how it feels. And I shout to the heavens above. Twelve short words that I'm extra proud of. That arrow shaped sign will not keep me away from my love. Mika, it's just an old roll from David's paper towels, but we thought of pretending it was a telescope and then a trumpet. Let's see if we can think of something else. Oh, I know. We could pretend that it's a it's a magic wand. I, I know. We'll pretend that I'm a fairy godbird with a magic wand, and we'll imagine that you're Cinderella, huh? Oh, let's imagine that. Let's see. You'll be little Cinderella working so hard mopping the floor and everything, and I'll be the fairy godbird. Why, hello there, little Cinderella. magic wand to solve all your problems. Now enough of this floor scrubbing, Cinderella, because now, hocus pocus, this is no jokus, I will touch you with my super duper new improved magic wand just like this. There, how's that? Pretty good, eh? Oh, thank you, fairy god, but now I can go to the ball. You don't have to thank me, Cinderella. Just thank my marvelous magic wand. Now you can go to the ball and meet Prince Charming and dance until midnight, until you lose your slipper, and, and then he'll find it and finally find you, and then you can marry the prince, and you'll go off in a field. And you'll live happily ever after, thanks to my wonderful magic wand. <laughs> Gee, it sure is great imagining, isn't it? <laughs> My pal.
t'aime, si je t'aime, prends garde à toi. And now a Sesame Street news flash. We understand that some unfortunate piggies have just been left homeless. We take you now live to our reporter on the scene, Kermit the Frog. Hi ho, this is Kermit the Frog and hmm? Hi ho, this is Kermit the Frog and I am standing here beside the homes, or should I say the former homes of the three little pigs. And uh, oh, look, here comes one of these pigs right now. Uh, uh, excuse me, pig. Uh, pardon me, pig. Uh, pig, uh, Kermit the Frog here of Sesame Street News. I was wondering, I see that your house, which was made of straw, was uh, virtually uh, doesn't exist anymore. Can you tell our audience how you feel about that, please? Can I tell you how I feel about that? Mm -hmm. Wow, what kind of dumb question is that? I'm angry. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about that. How would you feel if some big whoop came along and hopped and puffed and blew your house down, huh? Angry. That's how you feel. Yes, oh, okay, you angry. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that's, uh, that's one angry pig as well he might be. And uh, looking a little further here, I think here comes another pig. Uh, uh, pardon, uh, pardon me, pig. Uh, uh, pig, I see that your house, which was made of sticks, uh, uh, was virtually demolished. Uh, can you tell our viewers how you feel about that, please? <laughs> how do I feel? <laughs> how can you be so cruel as to ask me that? <laughs> My house is in rubble here, and you ask me how I feel? <laughs> Sad, that's how I feel. Oh, you newest persons. How would you feel if some big wolf came by and blew and huffed and puffed on your lily pad, huh? How would you feel? Uh, well, I, I guess I would feel sad, sad too, uh, right. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, sad it is. Sad. Uh, Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, there goes one sad pig, but uh, there seems to be another house left standing here, and this house here, which is made of bricks, and there is one of the pigs left no, out there. No, uh, no, muffin, um, muffin. Tell them to put the satellite dish I, on I'm the sure other side of the squash court. This is the owner court. of the brick house, uh, um, which seems to be just fine. Uh, pardon me, pig. Uh, mm -hmm. I was wondering if you could tell our audience how you feel about your house sitting here nice and solid and strong. Oh, well, well how do I feel? Mm -hmm. Why, I feel... Proud. Proud. <laughs> well, yes, proud. It took a long time to build this house. It is the strongest house on the block. And the old wolf couldn't blow this down if he tried to. Yes, I'd say I feel very, very proud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, well, fellas, what seems to be the problem? Oh, my house got blown in. Mine, too. <laughs> oh, gee, my house is still standing just fine. Wow. Say, why don't you fellas join me and Muffin for a little while? Really? Yes, she just made some lemonade. We could have a couple of drinky poos by the pool. Hey, that makes me happy. Oh. That makes me happy, too. Mm, don't fall into the conversation well, uh... pit. It looks like en everybody ended up uh, feeling nice and happy. So this has been Kermit the Frog reporting to you on the emotional state of the three little pigs, two of whom were left temporarily homeless as a result of some serious huffing and puffing from an alleged large wolf. What do you mean, alleged? Uh, uh, well, I, uh... <laughs> this is Kermit the Frog signing off! Bert. Hey, I was just wondering if Ernie, you could uh, help Ernie, me because I, Ernie, I thought... Ernie. Hmm? What, Bert? Ernie, tell me, why is it that every time I sit quietly down to read a newspaper, oh. all Ernie comes in and bothers me? Why well, is that, Ernie? Were you reading the newspaper, Bert? Yes, I was reading this newspaper. Oh, well, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I won't disturb you again. If I have anything to say to you, Bert, I'll write it to you, You just okay? do that. All right, Bert, I'm sorry. <sighs> Psst. Hey, Bert! Bert! Hey, Bert! Excuse me, Bert. Ernie, Bert. you said you would be quiet. Oh, yeah, yes, Bert. Well, I, 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 I'm not going to interrupt you or anything well, like you that. Well, you are. 
Well, you see, if you could just help me by telling me how you spell the word help. 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 All right. H-E-L-P. Help. Okay? H-E-L-P. Thank you, Bert. You got it. Okay. Now leave me alone, Ernie. I, I won't interrupt you anymore, Bert. <laughs> Help. Help. I wonder why he needs that. Nah, it's probably something silly. Bert. Excuse me. Ernie, I don't, you I don't want to interrupt you. You, you are interrupting me again. Uh, well, I, I just wanted to ask if this is how you spell the word help. H-E-L-P. Just like I said, help. Yes, Ernie, it is. That does spell help. Yes. That spells help. <clears throat> Thank you, Bert. All right. I won't interrupt you anymore. All right! <sighs> help. I wonder why... I wonder why he needs the word help. Maybe he is in trouble. Maybe old Ernie really does need some help, and I've been sitting here reading the newspaper all the time. Maybe old, maybe old Ernie's sitting there all alone... And he's crying for me, saying, Bert, Bert, help! And I'm, here I am, sitting here reading the newspaper, telling him not to interrupt me. Ernie, come here! Ernie! Ernie! What is it, Ernie? Tell me. What is it? Oh, oh, what Bert. help do you need? Oh, I'm no, here. No, I, I yeah, don't put the newspaper down. I'm here now. But I don't want to interrupt no, your no, newspaper no, no, reading, No, 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 no. You just uh, go right ahead. Tell oh, me. Oh, but that's okay, Bert. Uh, no, go ahead. Tell me what you need help for. Tell me. Well, you see, I was just fixing yeah? a plate of cookies. Yeah, yeah. I, what happened? You yourself? Might, yeah? No, I, I thought you might be hungry, so I, yeah? I did a sign that says, help yourself. Want some cookies, Bert? Help yourself. Mm -hmm. presents Melvin the Moving Man. Melvin the Moving Man has magnificent muscles. Melvin's mustache is made of macaroni. Melvin the Moving Man moves many things. Monday morning, Melvin moved a moose, a mule, and a mound of marbles. My, my, aren't Melvin's muscles marvelous? Melvin the Moving Man has come to you courtesy of the letter M. Anytime you're just much too small to reach the sing. Anytime you just can't reach the milk you want to drink. Don't let your spirit sink. Don't let your spirit sink. Oh no! You've got a tricky task, and all you have to do is ask, 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 ask. just ask, 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 just ask. Say, 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 just say. You're asking for some help today. Tricky task, and all you have to do is ask. A S K, just ask. A S K, just ask. Now, sometimes when you lose your mittens and you can't find your hat, yeah. Sometimes when you can't recall just where you put your cash. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You got a tricky task, and all you have to do is ask. Just ask, 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 just ask, say, 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 just say, I'm asking for some help today. Ooh, you got a tricky task, and all you got to do is ask, A-S-K, just ask, A-S-K, just ask. Now sometimes when you drop your jelly and you watch that syrup ooze, Sometimes when you lose your ball and you cannot tie your shoes I No need to sing the blues, no need to sing the blues, the blues You've got a tricky task and all you have to do is ask Ask, 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 ask just ask, ask, 
ask, ask, just ask, say, 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 just say, asking for some help today. You've got a tricky task, and all you have to do is ask. A S K, just 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 ask. All you got a tricky task, and all you have to do is ask. A S K, just ask, just ask. Oh yeah! I'm bored. So am I. You know what I wish? No, what? I wish a big letter L would drop out of the sky, and somebody would ask us if we'd like to hear a story about it. Me too. Would you like to hear a story about the letter L, boys? What took you so long? We thought you'd never ask. Very well. Watch closely. L is for leopard. That leaps in a lake. And lands on a lion that wasn't awake. L is the lion chasing the leopard. <laughs> and lifting a log, thus scaring a shepherd. <laughs> L is the leopard that lies on a ledge and laughs as the lion falls on a hedge. Well, boys, that was the story of the letter L. What did you think of it? Interesting. Well seasoned. Provocative. The question is, do you know what the moral of that story is, boys? Yeah. Never leap on a lying leopard. That's right. Yes, if you need a job, just come over and I'll help you get one. Come in. Goodbye. What? I say come in. Uh, me? Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, oh, it's a highly attractive office. Oh, sir, sir, my name is Grover. Hmm. Haven't I seen you someplace before? Well, I am presently employed down the street as a waiter at that little restaurant. Oh, yes. But I would like to get a new job. Hmm. What kind of a job? I would like to get a job as a lifeguard. Hmm. As a lifeguard? Yes, sir. Hmm. Well, do you know what you would have to do as a lifeguard? Oh, but certainly, sir. Hmm? As I see it, I sit on a big, tall chair so I can see everybody. Yes. Yes. And I make sure they are safe. So if I see someone maybe running where they might slip and fall, yes. I blow my little whistle mm -hmm. and I yell down. I yell, slow down. That's what I yell. Yes. But, but if I also see maybe uh, oh, two little children about to bump into each other, mm -hmm. I blow my whistle. Mm -hmm. And then do you know what I say? What? I say, watch out! Mm. Yes. yes. Uh, well, you, you certainly seem to have the lungs for the job. Uh, thank you, sir. And I also have my own lifeguard equipment. Mm -hmm. I have my little lifeguard whistle around my neck. I have my lifeguard hat. I have my lifeguard sunglasses. And most important, I have my lifeguard nose guard. That is so the sun does not burn my cute little nose. Yes, yes, you do seem to know what to do. Thank you, sir. But the head lifeguard will have to check you out. You can go on down to the pool. Oh, thank you, sir. The pool. The, uh, swimming pool? Of course. A lifeguard's job is to watch all the swimmers in the swimming pool and to dive in and help them out if they need it. Well, then, uh, I think I will need one thing to do the job right. What's that? Swimming lessons. Fish.
there's another sign. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I love these signs. Axt. I. Axt high? That's, I think that's, that word's mixed up or something. I'll just change these letters around. There we go. At X. At X. Ah, uh, that's not a word. Just put that letter there. Okay. T X E. T X C. <laughs> Taxi! Hey, hop in, bud. Hop in. Excuse me. Watch it, baby. Pardon me, Sonny. Down below the street, can you take a steady beat? It's a subway. Subway! Moving right along, hear the rhythm loud and strong. It's the subway. Subway! There isn't any room in this town. They put all the trains down under the ground. Buy a token now for a ride in Super Wow on the subway. Subway! And he me. You should say you're sorry. Thanks, Kermit. Squeeze inside the door. There's no room for me anymore. On the subway. Subway. Hang on to the strap. Wonder where they hit the knob. On the subway. Subway. It will go right by your local address. Swaying to and fro, it's the only way to go on the subway. Subway. With my, oh. Say you're in my eyes. Oh. Oh. And so hot I could die. Anyway, everybody, anyway. Acting inside a train is too crowded to complain on a subway. Subway! You can lose your purse, so you might lose something worse. Who 
needs it. Hey, I like the number three. In fact, I know a song about the number three. <laughs> it's about a special way you can get in touch with me if you need me. If you want to see me, I'll tell you what to do. What? Knock three times on my trash can lid, and then I'll know it's you. Ooh. Knock three times. Knock three times. Knock three times, and here's what I'll do. I'll yell, go away, because I don't want to see you. Oscar, get up here, because I've got something to sing to you. What? If you want to take me driving, out riding in your car, just drive on up and honk three times, and I'll know who you are. Honk three times. Honk three times. Honk three times, and here's what I'll do. I'll just stay in my trash can, because I don't want to ride with you. What I'll do, I won't pick up the phone because <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk to you either, so I'm never going to ring three times. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm never going to honk three times because I don't want to see you. Uh, well, I'm never going to knock three times, so there. Except if I don't, who will I be able to bother? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I like being bothered myself, so maybe you better knock three times. Yeah, maybe you better. King who ate only chicken. Once upon a time, there was a king, King Richard the Chicken-Hearted. He was called that because he ate only chicken for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And why? Because it was the only food he knew about. Every night, he would call the royal chef. A royal chef! Royal chef! Yes, your majesty. What's for dinner? As if I didn't know. Chicken a la king. Chicken a la me? Again? What else? Chicken salad. And for dessert? Oh, chicken pudding. Uh, chicken, chicken, chicken. I like it. But isn't there some other food? Eh, not that I know of. Well, I'm bored and I don't feel very healthy. I think I will start a royal new food contest. So the king asked all his subjects to think of something else for him to eat and bring it to the palace. And the winner would get half of his kingdom and a trip to Bermuda, all expenses paid. All right, subjects, what have you brought me? Uh, this is broccoli, your highness. But it's green. And it has no wings. Well, broccoli does not have wings, Your Highness. It's a vegetable. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I could eat that. Oh, thank you. Next. Thank you. And this is called whole wheat bread, Your Highness. Hmm. Hey, where are the feathers? <laughs> bread has no feathers, sire. It's made from grain and it's baked in an oven. Mm. <laughs> what do you know? Mmm. Hey, that's good, too. You know, with, with two of these, you could make a broccoli sandwich. Next. This is milk, sire. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> oh, that's
That's better than chicken aid. I like it. Next. And these, sire, are apples. Apples, you say? Yes. Hmm. Oh, but uh, where are the drumsticks? Apples have no drumsticks, silly. They're fruit. Oh. Mmm. Hey, that's delicious. You can make pie out of these. Listen, chef. From now on, I'm going to eat all these things. Yay! 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 Yes, sire. Next week, we'll have only broccoli. Mm-hmm. The week after that, we will have only bread. Oh, and the oh, week oh, after oh, that, oh, we oh, will oh, have... Oh, 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 wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Quiet! Now, what seems to be the problem? You should eat them all together. With the chicken, like we do. You're kidding! Really? Well, what is that called? A meal, sire. A healthful meal. Well, then, that's what I'll eat. (laughs) And because all four brought me something good to eat, you each win half my kingdom. (laughs) It's lucky I have an extra kingdom. (laughs) Let's dance. And so from that day on, instead of just eating chicken, the king ate chicken, a vegetable, whole wheat bread, milk, and fruit. And they changed his name from Richard the Chicken-Hearted to Richard the Smart. Oh, you know you can eat fish instead of chicken. Really? Mm-hmm. Whoa. And they lived healthily ever after. Say, you see those three mules back there? You see them now? One, two, three. Yep. Well, the boss wants to know how many he'll have left if he takes one away. (laughs) How do you like that? Got to find out how many threes take away one is. Well, I guess the only way to find out is to take one away. (laughs) I don't know. I'm getting too old for this. (laughs) I just don't know. Ah. Ah. Hmm. So, three mules take away one mule, leaves two mules. Three take away one is two. Boy, boy, three mules take away one mule is, is, is one, two, two mules. I know. You know, Waski, mm. I was thinking about that song we sang about the number three. Yeah. You know the one about three honks and three knocks and three rings? Yeah, what about it? Well, from now on, when I see you, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to yell three times like this. Ah, ah, ah! Huh. You know what I'm going to do when, uh, when you do that? What? I'll yell three times like this. Ah! That was two. Mm. And here's the third one. And when you do that, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to say goodbye three times like this. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye yourself. And and goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you, too. (sighs) What? Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letters L and M. Who cares? It was also brought to you by the number three. So what, Oscar? What? Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Grungetta? What? Leave me alone. Oh.